Uh, students of Mr. Florence Amadet in her sense. We are going to present a video about the Ginza Amadet in last night's tragedy, which happened last February 17, 2006. In this video, we will discuss how the last night happened and what are the causes and the damages. We will also share what are the possible preventions and options for us to save from harm. There comes a time when we hit a certain call, when the world must come together as one. There are people dying. Oh, when it's time to lend a hand to life. Greatest gift of all We can't go on Pretending day by day That someone, someone What is a landslide? A landslide is the movement of rock, debris, or earth down a slope. They result in the failure of the materials which make up the hill slope and are driven by the force of gravity. Landslides are known also as landslips, slumps, or slope failure. The movement of landslide material can vary from abrupt collapses to slow gradual slides and at rates which range from almost undetectable to extremely rapid. Sudden and rapid events are the most dangerous because of a lack of warning and the speed at which material can travel down the slope as well as the force of its resulting impact. Extremely slow landslides might move only millimeters or centimeters a year and can be active over many years. Although this type of landslide is not a threat to people, they can cause considerable damage to property. Landslides can be triggered by natural causes or by human activity. They range from a single boulder in a rockfall or topple to tens of millions of cubic meters of material in a debris flow. They can also vary in their extent, with some occurring very locally in impacting a very small area or hill slope while others affect much larger regional areas. The distance traveled by landslide material can also differ significantly with slides traveling from a few centimeters to many kilometers, depending on the volume of material, water content, and gradient of the slope. The basic types of landslide movement are the following. Fall, topple, flow, slide, and spread. Fall. This is generally characterized by a rapid to extremely rapid rate of movement with a descent of material characterized by a free fall period. Falls are commonly triggered by earthquakes or erosion processes. Topple. This is characterized by the tilting of rock without collapse or by the forward rotation of rocks about a pivot for point. Topples have a rapid rate of movement and failure is generally influenced by the fracture pattern in rock. Material descends by abrupt falling, sliding, bouncing, and rolling. Flow. This is the most destructive and turbulent form of landslide. Flows have a high water content, which causes the slope material to lose cohesion, turning it into a slurry. They are channeled by the landscape and move rapidly. Slide. This is one of the most commonly forms of failure and can be subdivided into translational and rotational slides. Rotational slides are sometimes called slumps because they move with rotation. Translational slides have a planar or two-dimensional surface of rupture. Slides are most common when the toe of the slope is undercut. They have a moderate rate of movement and the coherence of material is retained, moving largely intact or in broken pieces. The last one is the spread. This phenomenon is characterized by the gradual lateral displacement of large volumes of dis distributed materials over very gentle or flat terrain. Failure is caused by liquefaction, which is the process when saturated loose material with sediment 
with little or no cohesion such as sands or silts are transformed into a liquid-like state. This process is triggered by rapid ground motion Most during earthquakes. What causes or triggers a landslide? Landslides may be caused due to several reasons. Extensive rainfall, melting of snow, rivers, change in water level, seismic shaking, and liquefaction. Extensive rainfall. The most prominent landslide triggered is prolonged and heavy intensity rainfall. The trigger may also occur even if the rainfall intensity is moderate, but the rain duration and pore pressure are high. Melting of snow. In several cold mountain places, snow melt is frequent and may be a vital process for the occurrence of landslides. This is particularly important when a rapid increase in the temperature initiates fast snow melting. The water produced infiltrates into the earth that has impermeable layers under the surface. The poor water pressures are increased rapidly, causing the initiation of landslide process. This consequence is particularly significant when the warm weather is supplemented by precipitation that adds to the groundwater and increases the melt rate. Rivers Rivers can damage the slopes, particularly during the floods that trigger a landslide. The slope disturbance increases the slope gradient, decreasing the stability. In some countries, this process is frequently observed after glacial floods that cause two erosion along the water channel. Change in water level Fast changes in the groundwater level along a slope may trigger landslides. This is especially true when a slope is adjoining a river or another water body. As the water level close to the slope decreases swiftly, the groundwater cannot dissipate as fast, causing a high water table. The slope is subjected to high shear stresses that lead to a potential instability. This is one of the most important methods by which a riverbank fails. Seismic shaking. Earthquake waves through the rocks and earth create accelerations that alter the gravitational forces on the slope. The vertical accelerations consecutively changes the load on the slope. The horizontal accelerations causes a shearing force because of the landslide inertia. This process is complex and can be enough to cause a slope failure. Liquefaction The movement of the earth waves through the ground can produce liquefaction. During this process, shaking causes the pore space reduction. The granular material is changed into flow slides that are rapid and can be extremely damaging. The high density raises the pore pressure in the ground. Prevention and Remediation of Landslides Many methods are used to remedy landslide problems. The best solution, of course, is to avoid landslide-prone areas altogether. Before purchasing land or an existing structure or building a new structure, the buyer should consult a new engineering geologist or a geotechnical engineering to evaluate the potential for landslides and other geology-related problems. Listed below are some common remedial methods used when landslide-prone slopes cannot be avoided. There is no guarantee that any one method or combination thereof will completely stabilize a moving hillside. First is improving surface and subsurface drainage. Because water is a main factor in la landslides, improving surface and subsurface drainage at the site can increase the stability of a landslide-prone slope. Surface water should be diverted away from the landslide-prone region by channeling water in a line drainage ditch or sewer pipe to the base of the slope. The water should be diverted in such a way as to avoid triggering a landslide adjacent to the site. Surface water should not be allowed to pond on the landslide-prone slope. Second is the excavating the head. Removing the soil and rock at the head of the landslide decreases the driving pressure and can slope 
or stop a landslide. Additional soil and rock above the landslide will need to be removed to prevent a new landslide from forming a slope. Flattening the slope angle at the top of the hill can help stabilize landslide prone slopes. The third one is buttressing the toe. If the toe of the landslide is at the base of the slope, fill can be placed over the toe and along the base of the slope. The fill increases the resisting forces along the failure surface in the toe area. This, in turn, blocks the material in the head from moving toward the toe. However, if the toe is higher on the slope, adding fill would overload the soil and rock below the toe, thus causing a landslide to form downslope of the hill. Fourth one is constructing piles and retaining walls. Piles are metal beams that are either driven into the soil or placed in drill holes. Properly placed piles should extend into a competent rock layer below the landslide because landslide can ooze through the gaps between the piles. Retaining walls are often constructed. Retaining walls can be constructed by adding logging horizontally between the piles. Such walls can be further strengthened by adding tiebacks and buttressing beams. The next one is removal and replacement. Landslide prone soil and rock can be removed and replaced with stronger materials such as silty or sandy soils because weathering of shales can form landslide prone soils. The removal and replacement procedure must include measures to prevent continued weathering of the remaining rock. Landslide material should never be pushed back up the slope. This will simply lead to continued motion of this landslide. The sixth one is preserving vegetation. Trees, grasses, and vegetation can minimize the amount of water infiltrating into the soil. Slow the erosion caused by surface water flow and remove water from soil. Although vegetation alone cannot prevent or stop a landslide, removal of vegetation from a landslide prone slope may initiate a landslide. The last one is rock fall protection. Rock falls are contained by ditches at the base of the rock exposure. Heavy duty fences and concrete catch walls that slow errant boulders that have broken free from the rock outcrop. In some cases, loose blocks of rock are attached to bedrock with rock bolts. Long metal rods that are anchored in competent bedrock and are threaded on the outside the large knots. A metal plate with a center hole, like a very large washer, is placed over the end of the rod where it extends from the loose block and the knot is then added and tightened. Once constructed, remedial measures must be inspected and maintained. Lack of maintenance can cause renewed landslide movement. We hope that through our video presentation, we might be able to impart enough knowledge about landslides. Thank you for watching!